Now that I've selected a sheet metal feature, SolidWorks has made some changes. Notice many other sheet metal features are now available on the sheet metal toolbar. Also notice that there are some new icons in the feature tree. As you would expect, the base flange is listed, along with the sketch I used. This is no different than any other feature. I can click on the feature and select the Edit Feature icon to access the extrusion depth, condition, thickness, and bend radius, or I can edit the sketch. There are two new features listed that are specific to sheet metal parts. The first is the sheet metal icon located in the sheet metal folder. This is where sheet metal specific parameters like the default bend radius and relief type are stored. These settings apply to this entire sheet metal body. If you're working with a multi-body sheet metal part, you will have a separate sheet metal feature for each body, but we'll talk more about that later. If you want to edit any of the default settings, you can click on this feature and choose Edit Feature. Once you do this, you can see all of the general default options for the sheet metal part. This first area is where the bend parameters are stored. The fixed face is defined in the flat pattern feature, so you can see that right now it's blank here. You can choose to override the default bend parameters and enter a custom thickness and bend radius, or you can choose to use the defaults, and these options become grayed out. The next two sections of the sheet metal feature properties are the default bend allowance and auto relief for this part. At this point, it is only important to note that this is where you would change these defaults. We'll look at various options for each of these parameters later. In addition to the sheet metal feature, a new flat pattern feature has also been added. Think of this as the information holder for all of the bends used in a sheet metal part. If you expand the feature, you'll see a list of each bend as well as a sketch. We'll take a look at the sketch in a moment. Notice the flat pattern feature is suppressed. If you right click and unsuppress it, you will see that it flattens the part. If you click on the feature and suppress it, the part folds back up. To make this process simple, SolidWorks has added a flatten button on the sheet metal toolbar that will toggle the suppression state of this last feature. While the part is in the flattened state, you can see some lines become visible. These are the bend lines that are stored in the bend lines sketch. These can be useful for dimensioning purposes if you want to pass along a flat pattern drawing to your manufacturer. There is quite a bit more you can do with the flat pattern feature, but we'll save that for a future lesson. Before concluding this lesson, let me address a common mistake. If you want to create a cut that crosses a bend, do not use the flat pattern. In fact, it's a bad idea to add any features while the part is in its flattened state. Later, we'll take a look at the Fold Unfold feature that allows you to add features such as cuts to your flat pattern. 